Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to read a few quotes uh, from, from each of you, or each of our three witnesses, and from your companies. Um, and then I may ask for a response. So, Mr. Zuckerberg, this one's from you. Uh, you said, quote, we've built Facebook to be a platform for all ideas. Our community's success depends on everyone feeling comfortable sharing what they want. It doesn't make sense for our mission or for our business to suppress political content or prevent anyone from seeing what matters most to them. Uh, you said that, I believe, on May 18th, 2016. Mr. Dorsey, uh, on September 5th, 2018, you said, let me cl be clear about one important and foundational fact. Twitter does not use political ideology to make any decisions. Mr. Pakai, on October 28th, uh, 2020, you said, let me be clear. We approach our work without political bias, full stop. Now, these quotes make me think that there is a good case to be made that you're, you're engaging in unfair or deceptive trade practices in violation of federal law. I see these quotes where each of you uh, uh, tell consumers and the public uh, about your business practices, but then you seem to do the opposite and take censorship-related actions against the president, against members of his administration, against the New York Post, the Babylon Bee, the Federalist, pro-life groups, and there are countless other examples. In fact, I, I think the trend is clear that y you almost always censor, meaning, uh, and when I use the word censor here, I, 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 mean, uh, I mean block content, fact check, uh, or label content, or uh, demonetize websites of conservative, Republican, or pro-life individuals, or groups, or companies, contradicting your commercial promises. But I don't see this suppression of high-profile liberal commentators. So, for example, have you, have you ever censored a Democratic senator? How about President Obama? How about a Democratic presidential candidate? How about Planned Parenthood or NARAL or EMILY's List? So, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, Mr. Dorsey, and, and Mr. Pekai, can, can any of you, and, and let's go in that order, uh, Zuckerberg, Dorsey, and then Pekai, can you name for me one high profile person or entity from a liberal ideology who you have censored and, and what particular action you took? Uh, Senator, I can get you a, a, a list of some more of this, but there are certainly many examples that your, your Democratic colleagues um, object to when, when um, you know, a fact checker might label something as false that they disagree with or um, they're yeah, not yeah, able yeah, to. I, I get that. I, I get that. I just want to be clear. I, I'm just asking you if you can name for me uh, uh, one high profile liberal person or company who you've censored. I understand that the, the, uh, you're saying that there are complaints on both sides, but I just I just want one name of one person or one entity. Um, Senator, I need to I need to think about it and, 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 and get you more of a list, but but there are certainly many, many issues on both sides of the aisle where people think we are we are making content moderation decisions that they disagree with. I, I got that. And I think everybody on this call could uh, agree that they could identify at least um, uh, five, maybe 10, maybe more high profile conservative exam uh, examples. Uh, what about you, Mr. Dorsey? Well, we, we can um, give a more exhaustive list, um, but again, we don't have an understanding of political yeah, ideology I'm not, I'm, of our accounts. But I'm not asking for an exhaustive list. I'm asking for a single example, one, just one individual, one entity, anyone. We, we've, we've taken action on tweets from members of the House for election misinfo. Can you identify any example? Yes, with two, two Democratic, um, two, two Democratic uh, Congress people. On what are their names? So I'll, I'll get those those names too. Great, great. Mr. Pekai, how about you? Um, Senator, I'll give specific examples, but uh, let me step back. We don't censor. We have uh, moderation policies which we apply uh, equally. To give you an example, yeah, on our I, ads. I, I get that. I, I use the word censor as a term of art there, and I define that term. I, and, and I don't, well, again, I'm not asking for a comprehensive list. I, I want a name. Any name. We have, we have, we have uh, you know, turned down ads from Priorities USA, from Vice President Biden's campaign, 
We have had uh, compliance issues with World Socialist uh, Review, which is a, a left-leaning publication. Well, I, we can give you several examples, but for example, when we have a graphic content policy, we don't allow for ads which show graphic violent content in those ads. And we have taken down ads on both sides of the campaign, and I gave you a couple of examples. Okay. Um, at least with respect uh, to uh, Mr. Zuckerberg and Mr. Dorsey, and, and, and I would point out that with respect to Mr. Uh, Pakai, uh, those are not nearly as high profile. I don't know if I can identify anyone uh, picked at random from the public, even picked at random from the public as far as members of the political active community and either political party who could identify those right off the top of the bat. It, it, look, there, there is a disparity uh, between the censorship, and, and again, I'm using that as a term of art as I've defined it a moment ago, between the censorship of conservative and liberal points of view. And it's an enormous disparity. Now, you have the right, I want to be very clear about this, you have every single right to set your own terms of service and to interpret them and to make decisions about violations. But given the disparate impact of who gets censored on your platforms, it seems that you're either one, not enforcing your, 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 your terms of service equally, or alternatively, two, that you're writing your standards to target conservative viewpoints. You certainly have the right to operate your own platform, but you also have to be transparent about your actions. It, it, at least in the sense that uh, uh, you, you can't promise certain corporate behavior and then deceive customers through contradictory actions that, that just blatantly contradict what you've stated as your corporate business model or as your policy. So Mr. Mr. Zuckerberg and Mr. Dorsey, if, if, face, if Facebook is still a platform for all ideas and if Twitter, quote, does not use political ideology to make decisions, then do you state before this committee that for the record that you always apply your terms of service equally to all of your users? Senator, our principle is to stand for free expression and to be a platform for all ideas. Um, I, I certainly don't think we have any um, intentional examples where we're trying to um, enforce our policies in a way that is anything other than fair and consistent. But it's, it's also a big company, so I, I, I get that there are probably mistakes that are made from time to time. But our North Star and, and what we intend to do um, is to be a platform for all ideas and to give everyone a voice. Okay, I, I appreciate that. I, I understand what you're saying there about intentional examples and a big company. But uh, again, there is a disparate impact. There, there is a disparate impact that's unmistakable as evidenced by the fact that neither you nor Jack could identify a single, single example. Mr. Dorsey, how do you answer that question? A brief answer, please, Mr. Dorsey. Uh, yes, so we, we, we operate our, our enforcement and our policy without an understanding of political ideology. We don't, anytime we find or, uh, uh, examples of, of bias um, in, in how people operate our systems or our algorithms, we remove it. And um, as, as Mark mentioned, there are checkpoints uh, in these in these companies in the in these frameworks, and we do need more transparency around them and how they work. And we do need a much more straightforward and quick and efficient appeals process to give us a further checkpoint from the public. Thank you, Senator Lee. Senator